Who's the sexiest gacha character you've ever pulled? Have you ever played Nikkei? Nikkei? No. Give me a name. Her name is Volume. Volume? No way. Look her up. Okay, let's see. Oh! Yep. I lost. <laughs> 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 yep, we have the lovely Zeta. Zeta, it is absolutely a pleasure to have you here. You have no idea how excited I am to have you here and uh, how excited I am to be learning. <laughs> I'm not a good teacher, though. <laughs> this is going to be a mess. I had a question then. I always have, you know, people trying to speak Spanish, but they speak Spanish the best to their ability, but it just sounds kind of off, like they have, they have an accent. Do you have anybody that tries to speak Indonesian and they like kind of just sound American or sounds like they don't speak the dialect they just kind of learned? Not really. Do you want to try speaking Indonesian so I can judge? I, I want <laughs> to try. Kidding. I'm I, just I kidding. Try. No, 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 no. I'm Type kidding. it in the Discord. I will do it. Give me a sentence right now. Okay. Yeah. Here, okay. Here we go, though. Kopi uh, enek yeah. banget, bro. Whoa. Mm. Try it again. Try again. Okay. Kopi enak banget. Okay. Perfect. The kopi enak is perfect. Banget. Uh, you don't have to emphasize on the G. So it's like banget, nget, nget. Oh, okay. So banget. Okay. So what does that mean? Coffee is really delicious, bro. Oh, dude. <laughs> you know what? The hardest word, now that I think about it, the hardest word that foreigners usually have um, trouble pronouncing is nga. Unga? Uh, I'll type it. I'll type it. It literally just means no. Unga. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. That's good. Unga. <laughs> that's good. Nga. That's good. You sound like a native. Unga. <laughs> Unga. Unga. Ask me if you want me to drink coffee. Mau kopi ga? Unga. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. That's actually not so bad. Yeah, that's good. Unga. <laughs> uh, there is uh, two words that I know that are Indonesian. Before we went into this today, then one of them is bachot. Bachot, nice. Oh, you know what? We, you know what? We can form a sentence right now. I'm gonna say something and then you you can reply with bachot. Okay, let's see, let's see. Ga, bachot. <laughs> that's good, that's good. The other one, bucin. Bucin. <laughs> Bu bucin and goblok. Bucin, goblok, exactly. Yeah. Love that's... that you learned those words. Bucin. So I was told that bucin was like maybe in love or like simp or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like lovesick, lovesick. Uh, do you know any sort of Spanish? Like, what's mm. the extent of Spanish that you know? If you do know any. I only know maybe por favor or uh, oh, mierda. Good. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mierda. But, but, oh, and polo because it's chicken. Oh, it's so it is pollo. Pollo. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Pollo. Any specific words that you'd like to know? Oh, damn. Right off the bat? Okay. Right off the bat. I kind of want something to identify with. So what? what's secret agent in uh, Spanish? Stop saying cat. <laughs> I swear. I know it's gato. Shut okay. Up. So hold on a minute. <laughs> Like, what's, what's the deal with the cat thing? It's something that Chad made up for me, basically. Because I have, like, hair buns in my default costume. And they look like cat ears, supposedly. Yeah, so that's where the cat thing came from. Also, I might or might not have something like this. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything. That's an aesthetic. Uh, yeah, do, yeah. Do you just... got the tail? Um... Batot! <laughs> oh, shit. Batot! <laughs> anyway, secret agent. It's pretty similar to the English um, counterpart. Uh, agente secreto. Agente secreto. So mm. it's pretty much just saying like, secreto is secret and then agente is agent. Agente. Oh, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Holy crap. It's actually similar to English. It's agente very similar. Secreto. So then uh, I do want to uh, move on to one thing here that I actually have reached out to you prior to the stream. I want to go over five favorite slang words in, in our language. You want to go first? Or you want me to go first? You go first. I'll go first. Okay. Um, okay. So this is one of my favorite ones. It, it is called bochinche. Bochinche. It bochinche. means gossip. 
Oh, bochinche. And we sometimes take that word. It's not a verb, but we will verbalize it. Uh, que, que bochinchero. Oh. So how is bochinchero any different from bochinche? So bochinche is, is the word gossip itself. Bochinchero is somebody that gossips. <gasps> oh, interesting. Yeah, bochinche. It's like, oh, you're, you're speaking bochinche, huh? Okay. So that's that's the scoop, huh? So Zeta got co drinking coffee again. Bochinche. <laughs> you know, like stuff like that. Bochinche. Interesting. Oh, can I add on to that? That like in Indonesian, gossip is Go gossip. For, for real? Like G-O-S-I-P. G-O-S-I-P, that's the Indonesian equivalent? Yeah, 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 that's gossip. Let's see yours. What is what? What is yours? My word. Okay, yeah, what's your my first word? My word. Let's go with gabut. Ga gabut? Gabut. So if I say, everything begins with G. I, <laughs> so this I, I is a slang. I like that, gabut. to be honest. Basically, what we do with slangs is we usually combine two words together and take the beginning part of each word and combine it together. So if you see here... Gabut, it actually stands for gaji buta. <laughs> yeah, gaji means salary. Buta means blind. It's like <laughs> when you get paid for doing the bare minimum, basically. Oh, okay. Getting paid to do bare minimum. Yeah, that's like the literal translation, but the way people use it is uh -huh. not doing anything. For example, you can ask your friend, Eh, lu lagi ngapain? Eh, kamu lagi ngapain? What are you doing? Lagi gabut. Lagi is like currently doing something. So, oh, lagi, lagi gabut is lagi okay. gabut. To piggyback off that, how do you say lagut and then like vibing? Gabut, gabut, gabut. <laughs> is this gab gabut? Gabut is for just universal for a lot of different things. I'm just yeah, vibing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, gabut. not doing anything or vibing. Yeah, vibing. I think you'll like this next one. Because nice. this one is something that uh, you know half of it. Oh, 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 my what does that mean? Literal translation, eater. Oh! Un come mierda. The slang version is a arrogant, you know, kind of like a like a piece of. Shit. I think it'd be really funny if you went up to a Spanish speaker and be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Hola, come mierda." <laughs> Hola, come mierda. <laughs> Hola, come mierda. How do you say like um that guy's an asshole? Do do we? How do you say that? <laughs> That's my favorite word in Spanish. It's called pendejo. Pendejo. There's many words for asshole, let me tell you. But the most common one that people will say is pendejo. You can say it as a derogatory or you can say it as a friendly gesture. Como ta pendejo? Oh. Like, how you oh. doing, asshole? You know, like oh, that. oh, it could be a friendly gesture. It can be a friendly gesture, but it all does depend on context. You can't just go up to, like, your, your mother... Or like your father and be right. like, well, come right. no. you know, like stuff, stuff like you can't do that. You're like your best friend, er, maybe. Right, we can't say that. Chad is saying ca cabron. What oh, that that's another one. So cabron is also another one. So the literal translation for cabron is basically the head male goat. This one is a little bit, it's the same thing as pendejo, but it's a little bit more vulgar. Right. It's a little bit more, has a little bit more oomph. You know, you want to, you want to escalate a little bit more. No, you say cabron. I do know that Indonesia doesn't really have like words in particular, but they have like very dim, like they're not very vulgar, but oh. they are like very demeaning. Oh. I don't know if that's true or not. I think the most common purse word here would be the literal translation is a dog. Okay. So dog means anjing, anjing. I did hear about anjing. Yes. Oh, oh, from who? <laughs> uh, I think I heard it from Mika. <laughs> Mika. So for, for me personally, I don't uh -huh. say that word in my streams because I'm not used to it. But like you said, there's like multiple like variations of how you can soften it. So what's your preferred go to? Go to? Uh... Yeah, what's your go You want to insult someone. What's your go to? Well, if we're still talking about the anjing one, I would say I I'll type it in chat. Okay. So that's what it is. Uh, 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 anjir. Uh, anjing is literally the curse word itself. Uh, I would personally say anjir. That's like okay. a little bit softer way of saying anjing. But for example, like Kobo, Kobo would just straight on say anjing or the oh, way she, she says it. She doesn't care. It. She just straight up says it. <laughs> okay. Or, or she would say anjing. That's like a little like bit a cute cuter. Word. I'll type it in chat. Like uwu type of dialect. And then anjai is literally, you, you don't really use anjai for people or to curse at people. Anjai is for, um, it's almost like yabai in a way. Okay. It's like, uh, Woo, 
Enjoy! It's like dope, I guess. Let's move on to the next the next slang. I'm gonna say santui. Santui. Or you can uh, shorten it to sans. Just like S A N S. Sans. It's like chill. It, it literally means chill. Okay. It's like chill or no problem. So, for example, if uh -huh. I was like, hey, you know, boy, uh, sorry, I like, you know, I crashed into your car the other day. And then you're chill with it. So you're like, sans. Oh, uh, okay, okay. All good. It's like, like <laughs> all good. It's it's all right. Kind of like yeah, that. Sans. Yo, man, you know you know that like uh, uh, 10K that I, that I borrowed from you the other day? I can't pay it back right now. Sans. Seems like you're speaking from personal experience. <laughs> no! Like, did you actually no, crash into someone's car no. and took $10,000? No, 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 no. That seems no, way no, too no, lax no. for you to, like, bring that up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how we use that. Mm -hmm. uh, not based on personal experience. <laughs> Who would actually give 10K? 10K, in our currency, 10K IDR is about, like, a dollar, I think. So, yeah, in that case, we use suns. Uh, how about if you want to buy a PlayStation 5? How much is that in, in, in Indonesia? How much is PlayStation 5, Chad? I think like 500 US dollars. Seven millions. Everyone's saying seven million. Okay, seven. Seven million. Yeah, that's seven million. So what is your what is the Indonesian equivalent to like rich? Because we have like rich or we have like millionaire, billionaire. But I imagine that doesn't really work over there, does it? Um, do you want like the Indonesian word for rich? Rich yeah. people? Or do yeah. you want oh oh the uh, proper term is kaya, which means rich. Kaya. This is very important, but do you know orang? Uh, orang. Oh. Do you know or do you know orang utan? Orang utan. <laughs> no. <laughs> Spell that correctly. Orang utan is a monkey. Orang utan is a monkey? Yeah, but orang itself means human. So no, I is was just like, like do you don't need to write orang utan. I was just like checking to see if you know orang utan. <laughs> Or orang utan. Yeah. No. It's a monkey. That yeah, was... orang utan is a monkey. No, I I'll type it. I'll type it in chat. But orang with a G. So orang is right, but you add G in the. Orang is um human or people, okay. person. So if you combine those, that becomes person rich. So it's a rich person. Oh, or. Wait a minute. Orang kaya. Orang kaya means rich person. Oh, it's a uh, orangutan. Yes, oh, that's how, that's how you say it, or orangutan. Oh, orangutan. wow, that took me a little bit. Orang I'm like, orangutan. orangutan, all right, sounds good. <laughs> Not knowing that it's like orangutan. Hutan actually means um, forest, so it's like person forest, but that's a monkey, you know? Okay, so orang kaya is rich yeah. person. So uh -huh. the orang needs to have a G in the back. That's right. There we awesome. go. Orang there we go. Orang utan. Nice. Orang kaya. Nice. Orang kaya. Orang utan. Okay. Oh. All right. That's pretty sans. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Sans. That's sans. Sans. You can also say that as a form of like easy. It's like sans. Easy. Beat oh, that game. Okay. Beat so Holocure in four days, like Kyla. Sans. Sans. Now let me go ahead and to give you one of mine. This one's actually one of my favorite ones. I don't, because of hmm. just how it's pronounced. Chota. 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 What so in mean? many different places, you could say this as like a small person, but where I'm from, this is called a snitch. A snitch? Un chota. No seas chota. Don't be a snitch. Oh. You don't want to be a chota. D don't be a chota. Does a chota usually do bochinche? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You got it. There it is. Chota oh. does do bochinche. Okay, I have a lot of that's... chat members that are chota. That's for damn sure. <laughs> like when they were saying cat to you, all oh, those yeah, people yeah, are yeah. chotas. How do you say you all are chotas? Ustedes son Ustedes? chotas. Ustedes son chotas. Yay! There you go. You got it. Just like that. Mierda, you got it. mierda. <laughs> pendejo, pendejo. <laughs> Ustedes or... son pendejo. Yeah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> this one's a pretty cool one. It's, it's a pana. Oh. It means buddy. It's like, hey, what's going on, pana? Com como estas, pana? How you doing, my friend? How you doing, buddy? Very friendly, very neutral. You, you basically say it to anybody. Um, uh, do you say buenos dias, pana? Mi pana. Just say mi my, pana. Oh. Yeah, mi, mi oh, pana. Okay. Buenos dias, mi pana. Buenos dias, mi pana. Oh, nice. Okay. If you want to say plural, you just add an S. 
Like, if you want to start off the stream, be like, Como están mis panas? How you doing, my friends? That oh, sounds really friendly. Oh, you know what? Panas? Panas means hot in Bahasa Indonesia. So, so yeah, like, panas means hot. My, my pana pana is like my hot friend. <laughs> no, you don't say. You don't say that your friend is panas. It's not like hot. It's not like hot sexy. It's temperature hot. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> so how would you say like sexy? Let's say like <laughs> there is a really cool gotcha character that's just real hot. I mean, we just say sexy. Oh, really? <laughs> There's multiple ways to say it, but sexy is very universal. Sexy is just sexy. It's just but, sexy. But like S-E-K-S-I. So different spellings. S-E-K-S-I. S-I. Sexy. <laughs> oh, wow. Cool, cool. <laughs> Not with an X. <laughs> yes, yeah, no, yes, yes. Yeah. Sexy. No. <laughs> no. Sexy is sexy. Boha is also a word for like voluptuous. It, it, it means for like voluptuous figure kind of usually. So like, but you know, the gotcha character. I don't know. Who's the sexiest gotcha character you've ever pulled? Have you ever played Nikkei? Nikkei? No. Give me a name. Her name is Volume. Volume? No way. Look her up. Okay, let's see. Oh! Yep. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, let's say this is the easiest one. I'll pick okay. the easiest one. Sabi. Sabi. Sabi is the easiest one. The original word for Sabi is actually Bisa. So Bisa means can or able my senpai which is yofi senpai has mm -hmm. a greeting which is obisa 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 oh that makes yeah, sense yeah obisa yeah, that yeah, makes yeah, so yeah. much sense okay so obisa. O, so what does the o mean in that o, o is just an okay. expression it's o oh <laughs> oh okay, okay it means nothing it's just oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. oh oh bisa it's pretty encouraging if you want to encourage people for example your your friend wants to do something and you want to encourage them you, you can be like bisa bisa it's like you can you can you can be you, oh. you're able to you can Ooh, yeah oh. okay so what can, is can you, what, what, what yeah. about sabi it's literally just the slang word for bisa so it's, it's if you want to be cool it's like hey do you want to collab tomorrow sabi sabi eight o'clock sabi okay Nice. So, yeah. do you use this too, or no? Are you a, are, are you a sabi person or are you a bisa person? I'm a BS person. So bisa, and then I shorten it to BS. <laughs> 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 the shorter, the better. Yes, that's a good one. I definitely will keep that one in my books. My last one that I will say. Okay, this one is super Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. By the way, if, if you don't know, Puerto Rico, they are the proudest people because of their of their flag. Oh. The Puerto Rican flag is literally everywhere and they're very proud people for example like have you ever heard of like wepa or anything like that wepa. when they shout out wepa no wepa. it's like what a mean? it's like a positive hype type of uh shout so oh. that is with a, a lot of different spanish-speaking countries in puerto rico we have a specific one that goes boricua 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 and that's basically a calling for puerto R the puerto rican people Oh, and they gather? It, well, <laughs> I wish it was like, <laughs> like, a, like a if, if I shout that in the middle of the street, does does everyone gather? Puerto Ricans just pop up left and right out of like <laughs> yeah, manholes yeah. and windows. Yeah. And <laughs> yes. Drop down from the sky. Yeah. That, that is a way for you to know about Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, way back in the day when it was, you know, filled with indigenous people, it was the land of Boriquen. Boriquen was the island before it was called Puerto Rico or before it was founded. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, that were th those were the name of the indigenous people, or, or one of them. There were a, a whole bunch oh. of indigenous people, but the people of Boriquen, the indigenous people were called Boricua. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now, in today's day and age, that still carries on as a way to be able, to, it's not like a label, but it's more like a, a saying that you would use to be able to identify with other Puerto Ricans. Oh. How do you use it in a sentence? Well, you don't. Uh, well, okay. The the word boricua, <laughs> like when I say like hype and stuff like that, you don't say yes. that in a sentence. But you can oh. say in a sentence where it says, are you boricua? Oh. Are you boricua? That means, are you Puerto Rican? It's like another ah. name for Bo Puerto Ricans. So you come up to me see, and then I you see. think I'm Puerto Rican. It's like, are you boricua? They will immediately say, uh, yes, absolutely. 
but yeah, that that's 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 Boricua. All right. Interesting. As we've been uh, talking, I see some chatters here saying "Ada Indonesia cuy." That's also like the way of. It's not like Boricua. It's it's like oh, there's there's Indonesian person or whatever so I, is on the screen right now. Interesting. So that's kind of how you say or kind of how you you pinpoint somebody from Indonesia. Ada Indonesia cuy. How do you say yes and no? See, si? no. There you go. Oh, that's it. That's it. So you say yes or no? Because like no. for us, we have so many different ways of saying no. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, really? How many ways do you have to say no? I'll show you how so many go. variations we have. Go for it. Dude, <laughs> the just, slope. just just the G. When I, when I text it somewhere near the last three. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because they're short and they're sweet. Yeah. And they're easy to text. Short. Or this is how you say yes. This is not exactly slangs, but it's more like texting text is slangs. It? So it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. It really doesn't matter. It's just yeah. All right. That's pretty much all of our, our slang words that we wanted to go over. You know what I want to learn? I want to seem like I'm good at Spanish by oh? doing a tongue twister. Give me, give me a tongue twister. Oh my God, I haven't yeah. heard of a tongue twister in years. Let me look one up. I, I already have one. <laughs> you know what? Go for it. Go. Yeah, yeah. T tell me. Tell, tell me. Okay. T tell me yours. Okay, mine is kuku kuku kaki kake. Kuku 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 kaki kaka kake. Kuku kaku kaku kenapa ku? Sans, you can do it. Bisa, oh Sans. bisa. See, I'm using all of those. Sans, oh bisa, bisa. Sabi. How do you say I don't know in Indonesia? <laughs> ga. Ga. <laughs> oh. oh, that's for that too? Oh my God, ga is the best word ever, dude. I love that word. Okay, I'll have you repeat yours right after I repeat mine again. Okay. Pancha plancha con cuatro planchas. Cuanto cuentas planchas, pancha plancha. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, so... So does it ha does it have a proper meaning? Yes, yes it does. So if you don't know, there is a very famous like folklore called Don Quixote and Sancho Panza. This isn't like that, but uh, Pancha is like a, a a person. Okay, so Pancha irons with four irons. With how many irons does pa Pancha iron? All right, what does yours mean? Okay, so mine means my grandfather's older siblings' nails are stiff because it got hit by a nail. Huh. Okay, you send me you uh you send me yours, I sent you mine. Okay, there's yours and then mine is right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like peace and case. Uh yeah, peace and case and peace and case. Okay, uh, you do mine. Per so, pronounce okay. it first. Pancha plancha con cuatro planchas, con cuantas planchas pancha plancha. So pancha me... plancha con cuatro planchas con cuantas planchas pancha plancha. Hey! There yes! You go. Let's go! Hell yeah! Sans, easy, visa, savi. Sans. 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 All right. Be good. Let me try yours now. Okay. Um, okay, I'll I'll try pronouncing it first. Okay, go for it. Do you want like slow or fast? However you want to do it. I'm I'm. Kuku kuku kaki kaka kake ku kaku kaku kenapa ku? Okay, slowly, slowly. Kuku kuku kaki kaka kake ku. Kaku kaku kenapa ku? Okay. Exactly. Okay, okay. The the first line, <laughs> awesome. Second line, try again. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend I know what I'm doing. Kuku kuku kaki kaka kake ku kaka ku kaka kake na kapa ku. You know what? Your the first line is perfect. Literally perfect. The okay. second one is kaku kaku kenapa ku. Kaku kaku kanapa ku. Nice, nice, nice. You okay, got it. Okay. You got it. Awesome. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, kaku yeah. kaku kaki kaka kake ku. Kuku kuku kaki kaka pak. Oh my god. Okay. I got this. Slowly, got slowly. Kuku kuku kaki kaku kake ku. Kaku kaku okay. kanapa ku. Nice, nice, nice. You got it. You got it. Not bad. You're okay. Indonesian now. I'm Indonesian <laughs> now. And you are Boricua now. Like I, I, oh, I, Boricua, Boricua. I dub you Boricua. <gasps> Yes, I have dubbed Ali as Boricua. Now I'm dubbing you as Boricua. Boricua, es mía de es facilito. Es facilito. <laughs> <laughs> this has been awesome, uh, Zeta. And once again, I want to thank you for coming on. I think this is going to be it. When it comes to speaking about languages, it's definitely a blast uh, to be able to do it with you. 
because I, I, I don't know. You, you say you're a bad teacher, but to be honest with you, you you're pretty good. Is there anything that you want to say uh, before we go? Oh, yeah. First of all, thank you for inviting me. I've always loved learning languages. It's been a blast. I've talked multiple times on streams before that I have interest in learning multiple languages, including Spanish. And I'm glad mm. that you have interest in learning Indonesian as well. It's been a lot of fun. And we are signing off. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.